So what I'd like to talk about next is uh, forces that I, I call modern forces. They're not really modern, though. Um, one of the forces is a gravitational force and Newton's law of gravitation. So you're talking Newton's time, who most people consider to be the father of physics. These ideas of modern forces were around. So, or, like I said, they're not modern. Um, but they do spur on a lot of discussion and a lot of uh, an attempt to get a better understanding of what physics is. Uh, as a matter of fact, in Newton's time, when he 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 publishes his uh, his theories about universal gravitational force, uh, he was asked, "What is gravity?" And uh, Newton can't can't explain it. He doesn't have an idea. He knows it's an attraction between two bodies, between two objects that have mass. But what it is and why those two masses are attracted, he doesn't know. And it's not until we get up to Einstein do you start getting this idea of what is gravity. So it's, I mean, I, I, I like the word modern to describe them because they, they really start um, the modern thought it, when it comes towards uh, our understanding of, of the universe and these, these fields that, that permeate the universe at every square meter of it. Okay, so that's, that's why I call them modern forces. Now, you can call them field forces, but I, like I said, I like the word modern because it does create this idea of... Um, what we understand today is more towards these modern forces and less towards the classical forces like like normal. I mean, we, we talk about surfaces and contact. It, it's this old idea about, about, you know, just things that are in contact push, pushing up against each other. Where modern forces, there is no contact. There, there are forces at a distance. It's, it's a, I, I really... I, it's, these are my favorite kind of forces instead of those the traditional um, forces that you probably have experienced um, in some of your other physics classes some earlier physics classes but anyway this is just my introduction um, talking about modern forces we're going to start with gravitational we're going to move on to electrostatic and then we'll move on to uh, uh, excuse me um, we'll move on to magnetic fields so those are the three modern forces that we are going to talk about.